a thread that has been running through this entire series is the value, the importance for me of being genuine. How much I love being genuine myself, how much my life and being somehow requires that of me. My partner says, I have a confession compulsion. And I think that might be true. I don't know if it's actually a disease that's listed in any kind of diagnostic book, but I do seem to have a need to come forward and tell the truth. I also love, and I underscore love, and I could underline it several times, when people tell me the truth, when they are transparent, when they speak from the heart. I think sometimes the reason I walk around the office and my first inclination is to visit the dogs in the building and often not the people is because I know when I encounter one of the four-leggeds, it will be an uncontrived encounter. It will be spontaneous, and there won't be the kind of contortionism that there so often is between me, my own contortionism, as well as in other people. I love that naked meeting if you will, that can happen, that can happen easily with animals, and that can also happen between people. And I realized that that meeting, that quality, you could say, of heart-to-heart or soul-to-soul, being-to-being, that quality of contact, And I will say naked contact. And I'm not talking here about sex. I'm talking about, although we could talk about sex, but I'm talking about naked in the sense of stripped down and real, gritty, unveiled. That kind of contact is what not just I want, but I need as a person. It fuels me and it nourishes me. It nourishes one of the deepest hungers that I have, which is to connect and feel connected, feel connected to and with other people. At a certain point, I realized how important this need is in me, this hunger is in me. When I was editing an audio series called Spontaneous Awakening by a teacher I've mentioned several times, and he's been very influential in my life, both as a spiritual teacher and as a friend, Adyashanti. And I was editing this program, and he was asking the listeners, what is the real motivation behind your spiritual quest? What are you really doing, and why are you doing it? What is it that you really want that's fueling your spiritual journey? So I started thinking about it and I thought, well, I think, I think what I'm going for is something like enlightenment. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for enlightenment. That's what's fueling the journey, that freedom, that total freedom. And Adya asks again, and if you had that thing that you think you're going for, what would that get you? Underneath that, what is it that you're looking for? Keep peeling back the layers, layer by layer. What's really the carrot out there fueling your spiritual journey? And as I kept going deeper and deeper and looking underneath, well, what would that give me? What is it that I really want? There I was, I had the headphones on, listening very carefully, editing the program. And I remember bending over and putting my head in my hands and admitting to myself that the thing I wanted the most was to feel...